Hello, Scorpio. It's Milady, and this is Milady's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly express love reading for the week of November 7th through the 14th, 2022. The cards I'm using to today are whew, a lot of energy here. Um, Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish, and I'm closing off with my. Mermaid Tarot by Lisa Robertson. I want to thank everybody for like, share, and subscribing. I'm setting up personal readings with me. All right, Morphos, let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on with the Scorpio? Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All right, so we got the passion card here. So I do feel like somebody is feeling very frisky, <laughs> okay? Very frisky, very connected to someone. Okay, dang, this is more than I thought. This might be it, y'all. All right, so we got the sacrifice card here. So I do feel like somebody may have to give up something or someone to be with someone or be, be to do something. I do feel like I don't want to do this, okay? I feel like I'm not willing to give up something. All right, let me see. What's he on? All right, so we got the returns card here. So I do feel like... Mm, I feel like there's a couple of things that could be... Somebody maybe not be willing to give up a child or not able to give up something that they were doing from when they were younger, okay? Even if it's a relationship, I'm not willing to give up this relationship. All right, so we got the time and tie card reversed here. So I do feel like there's some kind of separation that happened. I feel like this is the longest this person has ever been away, okay? And I feel like this person is away because you won't give up something or or you're away from somebody because they won't give up something, okay? Somebody's not giving up something that um, they've been doing for a while. All right, so we got the yearning card reversed here. So I do feel like... Um, I feel like at one point it was like a boom, we separated, but I do feel like somebody came back and I do feel like there was some growing apart happening, okay? So I do feel like it. the first time it was quick, but then I do feel like the second time it took time for the relationship to separate or end, okay? Yep, so we got the freedom card here. So I do feel like somebody separated and I honestly feel like I, I don't feel the energy of going back. And I feel like it's because somebody won't stop doing something. Somebody won't give something up or someone up, okay? Dang. Okay, let's see what's going on here. All right, so we got the baggage card. So that's clearly what this is all about. It's like somebody has um, possibly an addiction or uh, obsession or somebody's just doing something that... Um, is a deal breaker. I feel like um, the person that you're dealing with, or I feel like you, they tried to like deal with it and understand it. And I feel like it's just something that they could not accept. And now they're running away. Okay. They're running away, but we got this passion card here. So I do feel like there's a passion in a relationship. Like I do feel like when it's time for grown up stuff that is to get down is to get down. Um, But I do feel like whatever this, drug or alcohol is or whatever this is it's just what i really need and want in life okay this is what i'm looking for this is what i need all right so we got the moon card reversed here so i do feel like you know secrets about this situation came out okay my secrets out this is what i do and i mean just this is just what it is so i feel like it's like a take me or not accept me or not kind of situation okay so let's see what's going on with these mermaid tarot by Lisa Robertson. Okay, what's going on with the Scorpio? Scorpio, 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 what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All right. All right, so we got the three of swords reversed here. So I do feel like um, definitely, uh, an ending to an affair, ending to a situation. I do feel like there's going to be a lot of heartache here. Okay. Cause some, it's like you're choosing 
your addiction over me kind of thing, okay? All right, so we got the Knight of Pentacles reversed. So I do feel like somebody has lost a lot of time or a lot of money or and a lot of money because of this situation. Somebody was trying to make it work, okay, trying to push through it. All right, so we got the Six of Cups here. So I do feel like the love is back and forth, but I do feel like this addiction is just a lot stronger, stronger, okay? Um, and I do feel like if it's not that, no, I know it's that, but I feel like um, also the Six of Cups to me represent if it didn't happen, it's getting ready to if this reading is for you, okay? All right, if this reading is for you. All right. All right, yeah, we got the world card reversed here. So I do feel like incomplete. I feel like some something is just not going to be over. Somebody's not going on a trip. Somebody's not going somewhere and not doing something. I do feel like whatever that is, if it's a trip, it was the final straw. But I do feel like when it comes to this addiction, addiction or obsession, whatever's going on there, somebody is not getting ready to get rid of it no time soon. I do feel like this is just going to be a part of this person. And they're they just not letting it go, okay? Oh, let's keep going. All right, so we got the moon card here. So I do feel like other than this secret, I do feel like there are more secrets coming out. And it's just like if you don't leave this person or this person doesn't leave you right now, they're going to find out a lot more coming up, okay? But other than that, that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Thanks for watching.